my name is Abby from the Cosmetic Healthcare Network and today I'm here with Dr. Corey Moss, a well-known plastic surgeon here in San Francisco to talk about the Renee Zellweger controversy. Um, Dr. Moss, with all the recent buzz around Renee Zellweger's um, plastic surgery, do you think she no longer looks attractive? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, uh, Abby, and I appreciate your uh, inviting me. Um, and it has been interesting because it's created a lot of controversy on both sides of the equation with her right to being herself and to doing whatever she likes and on the one side. And then on the other side, I think really this has come up because she looks so incredibly different than mm -hmm. she looked before this interventions or whatever has gone on. And her um, claim that it's lifestyle and things like that is one issue, but I think most of us that have reviewed the images and have looked at her even over the past few years feel that some surgical interventions have been done. And most of, again, the controversy I think arises around the fact that she looks like a completely different person. I mean, that's probably why there's a lot of controversy about it. Okay. And did she look better before her recent procedure? I think that's a good question because she actually now looks quite attractive. It's not like she went from being really beautiful to some deformed person or looking horrible. She actually looks attractive. Um, she really, though, if you put her in a side-by-side -side image, even from just a, a few years ago, looks, again, like a completely different person. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about TV is that people's images in movies their face as an image gets really ingrained in, our, in their persona, uh, gets ingrained in our minds. We, we have a visual and a sort of mental image of who that person is and the roles they play and that, that the face that she once had where she had a nice defined chin mm -hmm. and, a, and a sort of angular face that was quite cute um, is very different than the one we're seeing now. And I think that's again one of the reasons that it's been so um, so there, there's some, been so much media attention around it. Okay. So are you saying that plastic surgery shouldn't make someone look different? That's an excellent question because I think really that comes down to the core, at least values that we have here um, at the Moss Clinic and the Appearance Care Center and that is that I believe strongly and I think all of our staff really follow and ascribe to this philosophy that we're here to enhance somebody's own beauty and really not good plastic surgery makes someone look better, more youthful, more energetic, uh, not as tired or sad, but they still look like themselves. And so that really is a very different philosophy than at least what we've seen from okay. the images with R Renee. And I think that's, that's, again, the controversy revolves around that. Okay. And then for you, what are the standards of beauty? Well, I th the, the key things about beauty, I, I try to keep it very simple for, for everyone. There are two key things, and, and whether we like it or not, our society puts a very high value on youth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's true pretty much around the world, except in some Indonesian cultures and things like that, where there's great reverence and high esteem held with age. But youth is associated with energy and productivity and and ingenuity and innovation and all those things and it certainly is not always true because lots of innovations come from older people and all those other things can come from older people but that's the way our society is and it's why people come to us to look their youthful best and then the other category is balancing patient people's features and mm -hmm. so if we have ears that stick way out or a nose that's disproportionately large, a chin that's too small or too big, those are areas where we want to improve the balance of the facial features and if we do those two things, provide a youthful image of someone's visage, some the facial, the presentation every day of our face that everybody sees, I think we've really accomplished our goals and we can do that without making someone look like a different person. That's really important. Thank you, Dr. Moss, for being here with us. Well, thank you, Abby, for having me. And this is Abby from Cosmetic Healthcare Network, and thanks for watching.